What's up, guys? I'm at Home Depot. I'm still battling with a flea infestation, so I want to get one of these bug bombs. I finally gave in. All my methods doesn't work. So I'm going to get one of these called Hot Shot No Mess Fogger. The main reason is because I don't need to shut off. I don't want to shut off my pilot lights. That gets a little bit too complicated. I try the sprays, I try vinegar, salt, everything you can think of. Flea Buster. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. 997, three cans in here. Each can covers about 2,000 unobstructed um, space. So I'm gonna basically need one for each room, four bedrooms. So I'll probably get like two boxes of this. All right, I'm also giving you like a respirator for when I go back inside the house. I don't need a fancy one like that. That's for paint. I think I'm gonna go with this one. That's like for a household cleanser odor respirator so all right i already have a cure inside the car ready to go so she does not have to smell any of this hot shot no mess fogger fumes all right guys i'm so finally back home i actually end up buying three boxes of this let's go ahead and take a in-depth look at the box before we actually put it to good use um there are many warnings right here i'm not gonna cover everything So make sure you check them out online. Uh, this one, I don't need to turn off the uh, pilot light, so that's good. I'm just gonna leave the light on. I'm actually gonna do some filming. So you guys show you how the spray goes with my GoPro. Uh, basically open all your cabinets, um, cover all the food, utensils, stuff like that. Make sure you close all the windows, uh, open all the doors, place it on top of a stool with paper underneath so it gets a good top clearance so it sprays the mist all over. Uh, basically, it says um, shake well before use and use. do not go inside the house for about um, two hours, I believe. And then return after two hours and then open up all the windows for another uh, two and a half hours. The side lists all the types of insects it would kill. Mainly, I'm interested in the fleas and maybe even some ticks. Let's go ahead. Open one up one of these. Each can covers about 2,000 cubic feet of non interrupted area. But since we have rooms that's closed out, I will basically use one of these tiny cans in each room and maybe even each level. So, this is what one can looks like. Let's go ahead and place them strategically and I'll show you around my house what I have done in preparation of this bug bomb. Events. Let's take a quick look at this 3M household cleanser or the respirator that I purchased from Home Depot. They recommended I get this kind. It's R95 approved. It should be able to um, block out the pesticides in case I happen to breathe it in. So I activate the hot shots uh, bug bomb. Uh, about seven bucks. There are two respirators in here. Basically, I'm going to put this on while I turn on the uh, bug bomb. And let's take a quick look. It's nicely made. You got this stainless steel wrapping, not your cheap kind. It's pretty thick with uh, various types of material in between layered. Yeah, that's basically it. I didn't want to get the fancy one. Those are for more like paints. Yeah, I didn't want to pay 31 bucks. Seven bucks is all right. Let's get All my bombs are set, ready to go. Here's my living room. I have my electronics, such as my TV covered up. And my PlayStation is ready bagged. It's instant in the trunk of my car. Just to be safe, um, I got all my uh, furniture all opened up. It, if you have an aquarium, make sure you cover it with saran wrap. Here's what I did: cover all the office, orifice openings with saran wrap. Got my cabinets opened up, carpet all cleaned up, uh, cabinets open. Here's my kitchen. I have another bomb set right here, especially with the trash compartment. This I don't have to worry about pilot light because it's a special type of uh, fogger, no mess kind. All right, that's my kitchen. That's two bombs and one in my one in my uh, study room. Cure uses sleep right there. So I have my PC, my monitors cleared up, my TV also, and I need to power down this device just to be safe. It wouldn't hurt. All right. Okay. 
closet opened up. Let me show you downstairs. Uh, it's where I store my comic books. I haven't seen many signs of uh, fleas down here, but I have seen some as you can see by the traps right there. All my comic books are as covered up as much as possible. Here's one flea bomb, all right? That's the fourth one. Uh, and then, you know, got all my cabinets opened up. All right, upstairs, go. got my laundry closet opened. Many signs of fleas right here. Here's one restroom. And I place one, that's the fifth bomb in my guest bedroom. I'm curious to see what happened to this bed, so uh, my mom even complained about the bites. Clothes cleared up from the ground. Mattress lifted up. Closet uh, comics covered up. Mattress lifted up. Bed frame lifted up. Closet opened. Everything is covered, opened. And that's my restroom. So let's go ahead and get started. They said place in the middle, but since I already have a standing area right there, and plus I have seen many signs of fleas over here, I would just I already got right my there. respirator on, and I'll probably wear some goggles because I wear contacts just in case. So the direction eyes. says to press the spray away from your face, shake it real well, and let's press down the button. Here we go. Let me get the cat get out of here. One room. That's the next room. Turn on my GoPro now, shutting it down. Pretty soon I'm gonna arm it. So wish me luck, guys. More to go. Basement near my car for exit quick way away. We'll be by in two hours, so roughly 8.15. Wish me luck, guys. Let's get the heck out of here. Alright, guys, I'm entering my house. This has been actually three hours. I went to watch a half salt bridge at the mall. To give some time. So it, it's, it started at 6.30, um, it's not, now like past 9.30, let's see if I spot any dead fleas or anything like that. So you can see this basement one, it's all gone, um, let's see if I can spot any dead fleas anywhere. That's my comic books, they look all intact, nothing feels moist or anything like that, see? All right, let's go up to the next level, second level. By the way, I have to open all the windows and turn on fans. And I can't stay in here yet. I have to open it, let it air for two hours. So it'll be almost midnight before, before I can, uh, my dog and I come back in.
living room with all the windows <laughs> opened. Got a fan going. What's on the kitchen? The fish are doing okay. Got it covered up. I'm taking off my respirators for a few seconds. I really don't smell anything distinctive. As if it went through a pesticide. There's a slight hint of it. But not strong at all. But the two hour with the two hours of aeration, it'll be gone. First, totally. since I used the spray and over two hours, actually I gave it an extra ten minutes, two hours and ten minutes since I've opened the window after the spraying. So I'm introducing the cure back to the house. Now it's safe for her and me. Gotta close the windows now. Where you go, Kira? Go. Go. I have to go back and close all the windows. Yikes, it's a freaking cold 56 degrees. Gotta turn back on the heat. Alright. Now I can turn off the fan. Gotta go around the house and close all the windows again. And we're good to go. Alright, let's go around the house and see if we can find any signs of death fleas. That gathered. It's kind of hard to see on the carpet. Maybe on this um, tile wood floor. Tile floor, I meant. I think there's a sign right there. I think that's one flea right there. That's two. I think that's two more right there. And one more right there. A couple more over there. And also right here in my master bath. I think that's a sign of one right there. A couple of stragglers. So it seems like it does its job. All right, now that we know that the spray works, let's go ahead and make sure all the electronics are still working. Make sure there aren't any damage to my TV, computer, and other electronics. Of course, I gotta rewash all these sheets. Let's make sure the TV still turns on, that's for sure. Alright, TV is good, it turned on. Now let's make sure the computer still works. Well, at least it's, it can turn on. Monitor seems to be working. And what do you know? My computer works fine. <laughs> Alright, it's time to see what my robot vacuum cleaner picked up in terms of dead fleas on the carpet in the living room area. So I'll be on the lookout for little black spots. There is a dead one right there. That's a pretty big one. A uh, couple of smaller ones right there. Those little babies, so hard to kill. And I see a couple more black spots down there. So it looks like it was definitely did its work. And this is proof.